Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. It is Thursday, April 22nd, and we're gonna share with you guys what sold for us today. I'm gonna turn it over to Kathy. Hey guys. Before we start, I do have a stain on my shirt <laughs> that I noticed a few minutes ago, but I, I didn't want to go change my shirt, so <laughs> just don't judge me. Um, this is my real life. I walk around places with stains all the time, so. Anyhow, uh, let's start with Poshmark today. We have two Poshmarks, so why? Yeah, I think once you become a parent, yeah. <laughs> stains on clothes become less of an issue. <laughs> are some men's reef flip flops that I got from my stimulus check challenge so they came from the bins I have just over a dollar into them and I accepted a $12 offer because they've been listed a few months at this point and that was the first offer I got so I took it and I did sell some boots that are hiding somewhere oh, I can't. need me to get it yeah. <laughs> Ooh, uh, oh. So these are some Ariat boots that we got in Nebraska. Um, and yeah, I paid $9.99 for them. They sold for $70 on Posh. That was an offer someone sent me. I listed them at $100. So I was happy with $70. Yeah, very good. All right, then we had two Mercari sales. Wrong. So I sold one of the two of these. Um, took an offer of 20 I have two dollars and 65 cents into those and then a C uh, this is a Pendleton flannel that I got from Nebraska I paid $3.99 for it when I got it home I noticed I looked it over really good when I was there and didn't see any of these but it had a bunch of little tiny holes kind of throughout yeah not like a bunch like probably like three small ones anyways too, right? yeah so I mean obviously I showed those all but it's still sold for $31 plus shipping, so I'm really happy with that. Usually I can get 40 to 50, so even with the holes, 31 plus ship. And I paid $3.99 for it, so. I think some people can like repair that stuff, right? Yeah, <laughs> and I think some people really don't care. Like yeah. people that wear that probably aren't doing it as much for fashion as it's warm flannel. Yeah. Maybe to like Utility work. versus. Yeah. Just like Carhartt jackets that are <laughs> shredded to pieces still sell for like 50 plus dollars. <laughs> Uh, so this, and then I had two kiddos in sales. This is the first one. Um, I hadn't got it cross-posted or put away or anything yet. So it's just a genuine kids buffalo hoodie. Uh, this is my son's. I think I bought it for 10 or 12 off kiddos in a, quite a while ago. He wore it a couple times, and I sold it for twelve sixty plus ship. So either breaking right around even, maybe losing a dollar or two on that. I wish that was another sale, but it was oh. <laughs> All right, and then CX. What did I sell over here? And then this is just something I got from ThreadUp. Uh, it's the brand Bo Hudson. I don't know if I've ever found it thrifting, but if you do, it's a okay one to pick up. These I got from ThreadUp just to kind of get my cash back. Mm -hmm. um, so I did pay $15.99 for them, and they only sold for $22.50 plus ship. So I think I made like one or two dollars above and beyond when I paid for them. All right, and then the rest are eBay sales. So box N is all the way over here. So the pair of these Tommy Bahama girl shorts and they come with a belt and everything. I think I only have a couple left of these. This one sold for $14.95 plus ship. I do have 10, not, not $10, I have $3 into those. <laughs> Um, and then box of J. Right, so this insane clown posse tee, oh. uh, not for very much, uh, for eight ninety nine plus ship, but it came. That was a Ben's fine, so, yeah. So yeah, about a dollar into it, it wasn't selling for more. I've been dropping <laughs> the price slowly, so I'll take it. And then box F. these Clark's flats. I picked these up at Salvation Army for $5.99, sold them for $20 plus shipping. Box S. This is something we just showed in our what we were going to list this week haul. This is the Remy Girl 
what is it called, leotard mm. thing. Um, I got this at Once Upon a Child. My average cost of goods that day was exactly $6, so that's what I have into it. Sold it for $25 plus shipping. All right, and then DL. We sold two of these. This is the first one. This is a women's small, the cloth and stone wide leg linen pants. Getting close to almost selling out of them. Um, Seven dollars in, sold for twenty five plus shipping. And then, hold on, just see. I another pair. That's the extra small. And then this one also sold for twenty five plus shipping. So completely different buyers. Um, AI. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> it says AI-C9, but C9 is telling me that it's a champion shirt. Because oh. the C9 is the Target champion. <laughs> so, yeah, this is just a Target champion shirt. This came out of Chris's closet. I don't even know if he ever wore it. I don't know where we got it. If we got it from... I know I didn't buy it from Target, but... It probably either came from the bins at some point or a Goodwill, in which case it couldn't have been more than five bucks. And it sold for five seventeen plus shipping, so big money. I'll take it. Paid for my coffee that I spilled on my shirt today. <laughs> so. All right, and then I sold these unicorn Crocs, and actually these sold to a viewer. I pulled up what she wrote. She just said, I think it's Dickies. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Please correct us if we are. Um, she just said, hey guys, I'm a viewer buying these for my granddaughter. I actually ordered a pair earlier today thinking it was yours, but then I realized it wasn't and canceled the order. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <Sorry. laughs> I was going to order these tonight. Thanks for the offer. So yeah, I sent her an offer of 18 plus shipping. I think I had them listed at like 20. I didn't know she was a viewer, right. obviously. I just send offers as much as I can. And then she said, I recently started reselling again. I used to years ago. I would sell all of my kids things. Um, I have a favor to ask someday. Can you guys do a bolo video on name brand kids clothes and shoes to look for? I learn a ton from you too. Thanks so much for your content. So yeah, um, I said if life ever calms down, we can definitely do that. We do have a, um, it's not really a bolo video, but we do have a shoes that sell for 20 plus, I think. Yeah. Uh, so kids Chris, shoe brands. Chris yeah. will link that and then, but yeah. Clothes, I wish I could find, Kid and came out with a chart a while back and I don't know if I ever saved it but it basically has like 50 or 100 brands to look out for mm. so if I can ever find that we'll share that as well <laughs> in the meantime hopefully both both of our kids are going to go to the same school next year and for yeah. full day so I'm hoping we'll have a lot more time for different types of videos that's going to be a big turning point in our business I'll be yeah. able to be more full time <laughs> and we'll have more time for that kind of stuff so stay See tuned till the fall, I guess. <laughs> so thank you again for your purchase. Yes, thank you, Jicky. I hope your granddaughter loves those. And apologies to the person you canceled <laughs> the order from. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for the support. All right, and then AM. So this is the last one. These are just some monkey feet mocks. They sold for twelve ninety five plus shipping. I got these at Once Upon a Child for three fifty. Probably could have got a little more, but. This color is only liked by so many people, I think, so, I don't know. Yeah, it is a loud color, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> I was just, sometimes, I feel like the day I sent an offer on this, which this buyer bought these a couple of days ago and then took like an extra day to pay, so, even though it's in today's sales, mm -hmm. I don't think I had much sales the other day when I sent her the offer, so, some days, right. I'm like, I'll just send and everybody an offer, please <laughs> buy something. And that is something we do, if we, if we notice her sales are not as much as we want, we do try to get heavy on sending offers and all that. So yeah. just to try to keep things <laughs> moving. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. All right, we'll pack these up real quick. All right, got all that stuff packed up. We didn't have any more sales come in. Uh, but yeah. as far as the board much goes. More. I did do 11 this morning, and then the rest of the day I pretty much just photographed. So I was hoping to photograph close to 100 because... I put it up here. We have 252 more listings <laughs> than we have done so far. If we want to get the 600. If we want to hit 600, which is a super high goal, Just but... 31 a day, every single day for the rest of the month. Yeah. So it's not impossible, but I it's think not we can likely. Hit it. I mean, if I we have more days like, 
like this Monday down here, and like the 13th, maybe the 9th, you know, if we have more days <laughs> like that. Maybe if someone helped me photograph, I could probably <laughs> get it. <laughs> so yeah, I photographed, I didn't count, I'm probably 50-ish. I was hoping to do at least 90 because that way I could list throughout the weekend without having to, I don't actually like photographing, that's probably my least favorite yeah. thing. Probably the first thing we'll hire out if we ever hire out anything. Yeah. Um, it's my yeah. absolute least favorite thing. I don't like photographing at all. <laughs> so because I was photographing, it took a couple hours, and then, yeah, I didn't get any more listed yet. But I do plan to. So we'll see. It's definitely, <laughs> when I have a goal, I try to hit it. So we'll yeah. see. Other than that. Um, still plugging away at everything up here. I, yeah, she photographed all the now. shoes on the rack out there. Um, which yesterday they weren't photographed, so that's progress. But we do have to cut out now. Um, she's got, she's gonna take these off for the post office. I'm gonna go pick up Connor from school, and yeah, she, I think she got some returns and stuff to do around town. So she's got a little bit of running around to do tonight. I'm probably gonna do a grocery order or something like that. And yeah, we'll get back at it tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, that's gonna do it for this one. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Reese, you're excited. You want to... You can go hey. pick up Connor? You want to go for a ride? In the car? You want to go for a ride? You want to go with... Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go for a ride. <laughs> this way, Reese. You ready to go?